So let's delve into what's making the headlines in the newspapers for you. Uh, joining us to do that, it is sports journalist and contributor to the Fulham Ish podcast. Uh, is Fulham Ish. Bath- yes. Now, I, I, you came in and were very lovely in saying about Brentford, and I didn't even say Fulham fan. Is that massive? Massive. Fulham so fan. obviously a huge week. Yes. Well, I was saying I actually got a, a promotion at, at work and I was like, oh, that's amazing. And then they said to me, oh, but you're covering Brentford. And I was like, oh, I've won, oh. but at what cost? But now I've been covering them. I've loved it. But yeah, huge oh, week. For- <laughs> it's not the way to introduce <laughs> yourself. <laughs> no, but now I've actually loved covering them. They've been great in the Prem. But yeah, huge week for Fulham. And I have to say I was involved in the pitch invasion too. Uh, throwing <laughs> kids out the way because I missed oh. the one when we went up um, by the playoffs with Slavisa. I missed that pitch invasion. So I'm getting on that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, okay. All right. It was all done safely. And um, yes, yeah. Fulham celebrating winning the championship as well. It's been a terrific season for them. Um, let's get into the papers then, Isabel, shall we? We started off the show by talking about what happened in midweek and uh, some of the European exits. West Ham obviously um, bowed out of the Europa League as they lost to Eintracht Frankfurt. Declan Rice, not happy. No, yeah, a very explosive story sort of doing the rounds. It's on the back of the sun, the Daily Mail, and it's in the in the Times as well. Basically, Declan Rice is, is set to face a ban from European competition after ranting in a referee's face uh, following their exit from the semi-final. Um, th- this video is kind of doing the rounds on social media and you can see in the papers there's grabs of the video of him kind of screaming in this referee's mm. face. And if you've seen the video, it's it's pretty, pretty damning. But um, And he looks pretty seething as well but they go into more details about how he's he's obviously accused this referee of, of corruption the son said he's he says he's probably been paid is, is the quote mm. um but um in the in those articles david Moyes has already come out and backed him and said you know there's no chance that the club are going to punish him <clears throat> but some people say he is kind of this poster boy of west ham in england um but do you think he kind of needs to be more composed in that situation very difficult when you've just been knocked out of European competition and you know you've lost the first leg he was clearly and David Moyes who got sent to the you know sent off as well let's remember Mm. that was really furious with the referee now you could debate some of the decisions during the game I didn't think it was a very good night for officiating um, and I thought the the game with Man City and Real Madrid likewise in midweek Um, so I can see his frustration it's whether do you give him the benefit of the doubt that it's the mindset of a sportsman who's really had, you know, feels like he's had a raw, I think raw deal. The way you look at it might slightly be different to how I look at it because that's, mm. you're a former player, so you get that heat at the moment. And I know David, the emotions, Mo- no. David Moyes yeah. alluded to yeah. that, yeah. saying there's probably people commenting on this that have never experienced this sort of I've situation. Lost it. Mm. I've gone crazy. But I've the problem is, is <clears throat> you are crossing a line when you're going down the corruption route and suggesting you've been paid off. And actually, what I thought coming out from this video is. This is a video that's obviously just emerged, but mm. this must happen all the time. We just yeah. don't see it filmed. Uh, and and that's my biggest issue with it, really, thinking, God, this goes on all the time, yet we never hear about anything being done about it. And I think refs do get a lot of stick. They really, really do. And I think for someone of Declan Rice's stature to be going down that corruption route, it's, it's a dodgy route to go down. Mm. And I, as much as I understand David Moyes is protecting his player... You've got to equally sort of suggest he probably shouldn't have said what he said. That's yeah, that kind well, of manner, rather than kind of just fully backing him. He will pay the price for that. There will be a, some sort a of ban sanction. of some sort. There will be. There, there has to be. You know, because he's, it's gone too far. And and sometimes you have to be careful because I do believe we are in a world now that sometimes when you say something, we take it as absolutely he means it. Well, there's many things you say in life you don't really mean. You know, I've said things to referees and I've got sent off a, a, with a referee and I've had a real go. Did I ring it? No. Was I just got caught up in a situation on the day and just went ballistic? Yes, I did. But did I really mean it? No. No, I didn't. And I would apologise if I'd said something. And I'm sure Declan Rice will apologise for his actions and it went way beyond the norm. Do, do you think he should apologise? Yes, I do. I do, think, mm. I do think he has to because there's no proof the referee was corrupt. You know, you can't prove it. Mm. He's just give decisions you didn't like. You know, and I think he'll he'll realise in the cold light of day he'll go. I apologise. I, I you know I shouldn't have said what I said. Mm. I mean, ultimately, you know, you can criticise the referee for his performance, but you also have to look at your own performance as a team. And if you haven't done enough to to win the game, yeah. then 
you're at fault as well for the for that situation unfortunately it's it's a sad end to west ham's travails in europe because they have been brilliant and a lot of us i'm sure even if you're a neutral we're probably backing them to maybe go all the way